Wellness Tribe, the podcast. Get comfortable, get your walking shoes on, and let's get going. Hello, and welcome to another episode. I have a beautiful guest with me today, and I have Marta, and she is a well traveled, so she'll tell you a little bit about more a bit more about that in a second. A well traveled happiness coach. And she's here today to talk about happiness and how we can really step into our authentic selves when we find that happiness. So welcome, Marta. How are you? Hi, Joanne. Thank you so much uh, for the lovely introduction. I'm very well. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Very happy. (laughs) The theme of today, happiness. Happy to have you here. I'm excited to to hear everything. So tell tell the listeners a little bit more about yourself, first of all. Yes, definitely. So as you've just said, I'm a happiness coach. My mission is to help women step into their power so they can live a life that they truly love, rooted in this, you know, beautiful sense of purpose and inner joy. So I suppose in a way, my purpose is to help women find theirs. So that's a big mission of mine. Um, I've not always worked as a coach, of course. That's something that developed over many years. I started off originally as a sort of location independent, uh, I would say, content creator working in tech. And I suppose that's where that pursuit of that life less ordinary, that deep rooted sense of happiness really started and then eventually developed into content creation and um, now it's a uh, happiness coaching so yeah it's been a journey yeah and I'll just so if you want to check out Marta's content I'll, I'll put the her Instagram in the, the show notes and your Instagram is a girl who travels yeah a and yes. girl who travels yes. on Instagram. So she is very well traveled so if you like looking at you know travel content and it, even looking at that makes you happy so I'm guessing that's what you know the traveling it, it all comes under what one, one umbrella doesn't it so what what made you sort of make that move into happiness coach was this some kind of epiphany or you know we tend to have this calling of I need to do that don't we yeah I feel like well first of all the happiness coaching part that's very heavily based on my own spiritual journey my self-development journey so these are the things the practices the mindset shifts Uh, that I've been working on myself for the last 10 or so years. So that's always been a passion of mine that very much fueled what I did, Uh, but something that I kind of kept to myself. And then I suppose it was after COVID, you know, we all obviously stopped traveling and I had a chance to rethink a couple of things. And I realized that as much as I still love travel and as much as I very much use travel as a tool to inspire women to live a life authentic to them through, you know, solo travel location independence, following what feels right to them. At the bottom of it was definitely this passion for stepping deeper into yourself, sort of journeying into yourself almost. Uh, and that is what I truly wanted to to focus on. Um, so that's that's kind of how it came into into being. And what do you think? This is probably a big big question to answer what do you think or why do you think it is that people so when your clients come to you Hmm. why do we find it hard to be happy like what Mm -hmm. what what are we missing or what what are we needing to you know find yeah that that is a big question that's like what's the meaning of life There's so many different elements to it right I feel like the most common theme when it comes to the people I work with is I work primarily with women and they've come at a place in their life when they realize that they want more, more fulfillment, more authenticity, or maybe they don't quite know what that more is, but they wake up with the sense of conviction that there is more to life than what I'm currently living, than what I'm currently expressing, uh, or perhaps they are feeling a little bit stuck and feeling stuck is actually great. It means you are outgrowing 
your current version of yourself and you're ready to step into something deeper. Um, so it's, it's very much women who are already have that self-awareness about themselves and are ready to take in a deeper dive. And of course, there's so many different reasons why, you know, why you may not be feeling happy or fulfilled. And um, but a lot of it comes down to a sort of some kind of misalignment. And it's often mm -hmm. a misalignment between our core values, who we are deep down, and who we allow ourselves to be. I would say that's the that's the most common yeah. part that yeah. I, and I can relate to myself. Yeah, and I think just as you were talking then, I was just thinking of times when I've been unhappy mm. and it wasn't my external, you know, it was it was definitely because I wasn't living in a way that like you said, was in alignment with my values. So doing things that I didn't really want to do. So obviously that would come under people pleasing and not having my boundaries, you know, not being able to say no. And I think that's when I was the most unhappy, even though, I don't know if you find this in your clients, that on the outside, you know, you might have a beautiful home or mm. you know, a lot of people with children and you've got all of the ingredients to... Uh, make you you should be happy however there is that feeling isn't there that yeah like you said yeah. more I feel yeah. like I can give more I think yes um, and what would you say so if there's someone listening to this and I don't know I always imagine my listeners are in the kitchen <laughs> that's where all the best right? <laughs> it is the most chill 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 place in the house I always imagine so if they're washing the dishes or they're you know pottering around the kitchen, if they're listening, thinking, yeah, that's what I feel. Mm -hmm. What's the first step or what would you advise if someone came to you and they were just like, Marta, I don't I don't know. There's just something that's not right. And it is mm -hmm. making me unhappy. Yeah. What, how do you explore that? What do you do? Yeah. Yeah. So there's many different elements to happiness right? There's our minds and soul, that's our thoughts, our limiting beliefs. Then there's the food we eat, right? Like our brain is made up of molecules that are largely made up of the things that we put inside our bodies. And then there's things like exercise that get the endorphins going. So there's a lot of elements to that sort of happiness diet. Uh, but for me, I focus the most on the mindset and that beautiful, deep emotional connection that we have with ourselves which is why I work a lot around the divine feminine and embodying the feminine energy. So for me, it's all about kind of exploring that. Uh, and I suppose the, the question goes very quickly down the road of, you know, are you honoring your authentic self, your true needs, your core desires, who you are deep down? And do you even, do you know who that authentic self is. So it's a journey of self-exploration where you sort of get to know ourselves and dig in a bit deeper to understand what could be in misalignment. What is it that we're not expressing? Why are we not expressing it? And how can we reframe it and rewire ourselves for more of that happiness and joy? And that's when happiness routines comes in. That's where deep soul work comes in as well. And embracing, you know, a whole area of emotions, of course, because happiness is actually you know as much as I talk about happiness happiness to me is not just about being happy all the time that would not be healthy at all we want to embrace all the emotions we're talking sustainable happiness that you yeah. can daily by embracing sadness anger and using them as tools for growth yeah yeah I love that point because it's impossible to be happy all of the time you know life happens and I feel like a lot of people ask me and they're like, oh, you're positive all of the time. And I do say, like, no, I'm, I'm not. Like, I do have days. And as women, our hormones, you know, there are days where no matter what we do, and I'm quite open with this on my socials, like, I, I do all of the right things as, as much as I can. But there are still days when I can't fight, you know, dropping levels in estrogen because I'm coming up to my, to my bleed, that I'm just grumpy <laughs> and you know the, the core of me feels grumpy but then like you said on the outside I am happy but it's embracing that and knowing having that mind body connection of right this is how I feel it's because of this it's biology there's nothing I can do about it I'm just going to embrace it and I'm just going to let myself 
feel this today because I think a lot of the time and you might find this we we're hard on ourselves when we think we're not happy or we're being you know if you have a bad day and you you make it worse because you're like oh my god I shouldn't be having these thoughts and I should be doing this and I should be doing that Mm. and it's a case of it's reflecting and allowing yourself to feel anger sadness Mm. you know it's it's human we're all human at the end of the day (laughs) 100% yeah no I agree and you know at the end of the day you should feel however you're feeling in the moment the Mm -hmm. problems start when you allow those feelings to take over right yeah Uh, but the feelings they are there for a reason they are showing you what's working what doesn't work they are shedding light on what needs to heal um so they are really beautiful they are indicators Mm -hmm. of what needs to change or what needs to get shifted what needs to be released and i love what you've mentioned about hormones because that is absolutely true uh i think another part um that's important here as well for us women is releasing any shame around anger or expressing our emotions because for such a long time we've been told to be you know unreasonable uh, or or hysterical almost uh, simply for allowing ourselves the healthy space to express emotions and feelings like anger jealousy they can help you heal they can uh, transform you they can help you discover what it is that you truly want by following mm-hmm. that jealousy thread so every feeling is teaching us something yeah and i don't know if you found this on your own journey but now I do ask myself okay why is this annoying me why is that person I don't always like using the word trigger because I feel like it's thrown around a lot now you see it on social media you don't need triggers but why are they triggering me because a lot of the time what you see is a reflection of someone right what why am I being shown this why is why am I getting mad about this or why you know am I sad about this a lot of the time it's anger for me because I'm quite steady most of the time but then if I do feel that anger the old me would have just you know let it absorb and be in like a hate 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 like the Grinch kind of mode (laughs) um but then asking myself now like right okay why is this making me angry why is this bothering me what is internal what do I need to work on and and then you work on it it's there to help you like you've just said these feelings it's your intuition going hello you need you've got this stuck in your subconscious so I'm just going to put this person in front of you that's really going to annoy you so you can work on that one you need to whatever it is that you need to work on a hundred do you find that a lot of women when you're working with them how do you guide them through get in touch with their authentic self because it's difficult isn't it you don't just you can't just say hi where are you nice to meet you how do you guys <laughs> if it was that easy that would be great yeah. that would make my life so much easier right yeah. I don't think be exactly out of a job yes yeah. <laughs> but um that's a beautiful question how do you honor your authentic self um yeah I suppose it all starts with asking ourselves well who is our authentic self who is she, right? It's about knowing and understanding ourselves. And the best way we can do that is if we allow ourselves to be in the now and really harvest the power and the potency of that present moment and really tune into ourselves, ask the right questions. Uh, I find that, you know, uh, and I'm sure you will agree with me on this one, our society glorifies doing, taking action so much that we often forget to ask ourselves what we are actually meant to be doing in the first place. And the most uh, productive action is a mindful action. It's an action that comes from a place of purpose. So sitting down with ourselves, carving out the time to meditate, be still, go on a walk, journal, and figure out what is it uh, that we truly want? Who, Who are we? And how can we take it from there? So it can be, you know, a whole area of questions we can ask ourselves, Uh, you know, things like, you know, when it comes to your purpose, the things that uh, truly drive you, these are the things that naturally light you up. These are the kind of like things that really light your soul on fire. So all those things you could do for free for the rest of your life, just because you love it, that is most likely very connected to your purpose. So that there's this sense of alignment. And likewise, the moments when you don't feel aligned, we can use that knowledge to sort of identify 
well, what are we aligned with by removing the things that, that don't align, right? And yeah. uh, what makes us feel expansive? Because our, our purpose is all about growth. With that sometimes comes fear, which is often why some of us kind of stop in our tracks, like, oh, this feels uncomfortable. I don't want to enjoy that. But actually, the sense of fear connected to our purpose is just a reminder that we're growing and expanding. Uh, so yeah. it's a beautiful place to be. So sort of, you know, tuning into the present moment, asking ourselves, right, okay, like who actually is our authentic self? And then remembering uh, or learning maybe to live from a place of alignment with our heart and, and our soul. So you can't really live fully and authentically if you don't live from the heart, right? And again, we have been conditioned to believe, to glorify this rational mind, this logical mind, and of course we need it. Uh, but if we rely on this alone and completely reject the callings of our heart, all the beautiful things, the visions, the connection that sits in this heart space, that means we create this sense of connection and that's when we start to feel stuck. Yeah, yeah, I love that. And I think like this, so we are, you know, people expect us to have the answers, like you said, we live in this world where you should have had the answer before the questions even asked, like people just, you know, and you're meant to know what you want. It makes me think of that, is it the notebook and there's the, the meme, the what do you want? And she, she's saying, I don't know. I don't know if you see it. <laughs> I know it's funny for you. Yeah. Exactly. I, yeah. But I feel like that is a perfect example of that where we, if you don't know, this is when you take a step back. And like you said, go for a walk. Ask yourself. I always ask myself, mm. what do you actually want to do? And I'm obviously in my own head. Um, I speak to my subconscious. I speak to my sub, uh, intuition. Like, what shall I do? And then I see what comes up. And a lot of the time, it's the opposite of what my, I call it my human side or my ego. Mm. My ego is normally, yes, 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 you know, I'll I'll do it. And then when I really take a step back and go, right, okay, speak to my intuition, speak to my higher self, what, what do you want? And even sometimes making her, for my higher self, my authentic self, a third person. So... You know, you see, you know, when you do my meditations, if I'm tuning in, she's always the version of me with her makeup done <laughs> and her hair, you know, and she, and even some days I'm like, what would my higher self do in this case? Mm. Or, you know, I'll ask myself, like, she wouldn't sit down and watch Netflix all afternoon. She would actually put something into place. But then some days, if I'm not feeling it, my intuition says, no, she would rest today. She knows that you need rest. And I think it works. And yeah, she's always dressed so fantastically as well. <laughs> I love that. And I know exactly what you mean. Uh, I, I love this as well, you know, kind of like it, it all ties in with living intentionally, right? Like, who do you want to be? How can I embody that future self that's going to take me to where I want to be? And it's the same for me. I even have my sort of future self on my vision board, this this person, this woman that embodies the, the energy, you know, the looks, not even so much in the uh, sort of, you know, surface level sense, but, you know, as above, as below, a, an expression yeah. of this beautiful energy. Uh, and it's yeah. great. And I do the exact same thing. And it works a charm each time. Yeah. And in difficult situations as well maybe there's a bit of conflict maybe you feel a bit uncomfortable just take a deep breath and you know give yourself a couple of seconds to think right like what would that abandoned next level version of me do how would she handle that yeah yeah being and the most of the time she is the the version of you that is not just gonna you know stand back and watch everyone else living their lives she's gonna take action and yeah. just allowing yourself to tune into her like what is she what would she do now what am I going to do what do I need to do and whatever situation you are in um yeah I love that and it's quite nice to have that well for me the because I'm quite visual I think to mm -hmm. see her and you know on the days it really helped me when when I first left my teaching career and suddenly I was working from home and it was very easy at the beginning, you know, stay in my pajamas, didn't really, you know, I, I obviously I brushed my teeth and had a wash and that kind of thing. <laughs> but it would be it was so easy, just like, um, oh, I'll get changed at like 
12 or whatever and you know really dragging the day out so it was like every day was a Sunday even though I was working Hmm. and then it did get to the point where I was like right this is not I didn't leave a career to start a new career to start a business just to sit in my pajamas and work so getting up early still getting up at five you know dressing putting things on going out to work getting a coffee and really putting myself out there because it was very easy to slip and I think a lot of women people we do sometimes we have that slip and again tuning into your authentic self what would she do so yeah yeah. do you find that when clients come when you have your clients what is their what would you say is the main theme with them like for a modern woman what what is it that they seem to be struggling with the most I think it's the feeling of um I must do it all and I must do it all well or to a certain level and it's this expectation, this expectation that's been both imposed on us but also internalized so we often feel like you know we have to fit into all those different roles and we must excel, excel in, in all of that we must be a great mom we must be a great partner great at our careers and I mean it's simply impossible because there's no sense of equilibrium there right so it's about understanding and unpacking that a little bit you know where does this sense of perfection because that's essentially what it is come from and is it even your own belief or maybe it's something that's been imposed on you and again it's kind of like peeling off the layers and again going back to authenticity it's about uncovering what's true to you like are those truths yours are they truly yours or are you just repeating a pattern that you've been observing your whole life because we're not going to have it all together at all times and that doesn't actually make you strong a lot of the time that is a sign of of weakness that is a sign of you know you're holding on to this idea of perfection uh, and causing yourself and those around you most likely distress because of course you're going to be frustrated you're going to be exhausted so it's just about letting yourself yeah. take a break so I like to think of uh, my sessions and the workshops that I organize as like a little sort of retreat for the soul where we can leave all that crap behind all this conditioning all those beliefs that aren't really ours and just tune into ourselves and be like well hold on like what do you really want like do do I want to be a perfect wife perfect this perfect this or do I do I want something else do I want something deeper do I just want to be and express myself in a way that that serves others Mm. and where do you find where's the most so someone again listening and they know it's not them that's you know these traits these beliefs Hmm. what's the most common place that you would say right go back and look at xyz so if they're trying to get to the bottom of where their beliefs come from Hmm. that they should be acting a certain way where do you send them or what work do you give them to do to find out yeah so all our beliefs men women doesn't matter uh it all stems from our childhood like Mm-hmm. that's very much connected to you know psychology it's it's very very much true because we soak up all those things like a sponge uh, especially in those early years of development even subconsciously we pick up ideas and thoughts and patterns so say for example if I was working with a, a client on helping her dig deeper into her purpose and we're kind of getting to the core of it like right okay you know her sense of purpose or her calling is so I don't know for example like she wants to become an artist or she wants to create art there's a big difference between monetizing your purpose and simply Mm -hmm. living it so that's another important part you absolutely do not have to monetize your purpose so I would then maybe invite them back into their childhood and their past and try to remember the conversations that were happening around the topic of purpose you know especially anything around you know uh, along the lines of oh you know you need to get a real job or oh you know that's just something that you can do on your side so for someone who's always wanted to express themselves in a certain way you grow up with this sense of shame and, and a belief that your dreams somehow aren't valid or aren't real that you should exist within this little kind of box and luckily that's changing now but a lot of our blocks a lot of our limiting beliefs are still stuck in our childhood so it's just about becoming aware of them by becoming aware of the pattern we are already working on changing it and then rewiring our thoughts and our behaviors and our beliefs around it so there's a lot of ways you can sort of you know 
reframe and rewire your mind, your your brain um, towards a more empowered state. And that is uh, where neuroscience comes in. So I love the sort of combined elements of, you know, neuroscience, of spirituality, uh, see us as um, spiritual beings having a human experience. So then we have the science supporting the body parts so we can elevate on a higher level. Yeah, it, there's, there is a fine line between science and spirituality or they're on the same line. It just depends on where you're standing. So I think, yeah, there's, it's, yeah. It's, uh, there's so many similarities and there's so many differences. I feel like you can't really separate because when you look at one, you can link it to the other and vice versa. I just want to pick up on one more thing that you said about and I found this when I've spoken to people about not having to monetize your purpose and I think a lot of people think that oh my god I need to go and quit my job and do x y and z because this is my purpose but it's not it's not true what share a little bit more because when you said that I was like yes nail on the head (laughs) Yeah, yeah. So again, it's it's about being authentic to yourself. So do you have to because an influencer told mm-hmm. you to? Because there's this huge, I mean, you know, when you go on social media, there is this huge sort of focus on, you know, starting your own business, becoming an entrepreneur. And that's great. But not everyone wants to have their own mm-hmm. business. Not everyone wants to be an entrepreneur. And that's great. And the beauty of your purpose is that you get to decide. So again, stepping into your authentic self, you might be feeling completely fulfilled in the job that you're doing. Uh, but you feel that there's something missing in terms of your personal life, because you're not doing enough of the things that bring you a sense of joy and and that's fine your purpose does not have to be i am going to create a life changing you know six figure business uh it could be something like i want to live a happy fulfilled life living in the countryside and making art i mean that's beautiful that's yeah, absolutely beautiful yeah. and and if you yeah, want to monetize it yeah further down the line that's great but you don't have to um and i think another part that's so important is that like the true fulfillment comes from walking the path so again bringing in the power of the moment the power of the feminine energy the energy of the now um you you know you may not know all the steps that you need to take to find your purpose or to live your purpose but simply by asking it by taking that first step suddenly the road starts to open and and you're walking the path and that's what's fulfilling because you know human nature is that the moment we reach our goal the moment we climb this mountain we're off to find another one so we forget to celebrate we forget to enjoy it so enjoy the journey that's where the magic happens yeah yeah definitely I totally agree with that and yeah it is just human nature you know when does a millionaire just go okay I've made a million he then or she she then wants the second million and then the fourth and then the eighth because you just like oh I doubled my income last year let's double again we never you know it's not that we're not happy it's just to make you know we can keep what we need to enjoy the journey yeah. getting to each step yeah I totally totally agree with that and I feel like that's something people forget as well it doesn't have to it shouldn't be hard work stepping into your authentic self or finding your purpose or working towards your purpose it's it's fun it's your life you know enjoy it don't put pressure on yourself to to get it perfect like you know I remind myself as someone very new to this after working in schools and being told what to do I find it you know I have to remind myself okay you're in charge here and you get to make the decisions and you know the path you take is yours and then some days if I'm like oh my god it's really hard and I I remind myself you know come on it's it's okay you're learning we're learning every single day you know we're not you know it's like mothers who like I hear if I hear mothers it makes me feel so sad when they're a bad mother I'm like well when did you when did anyone go to mum school yeah I didn't yeah exactly like, well, are we are we taught how you know how are you meant to know how to be a good mom like it's you know we follow these rules of we know we have to look after the baby and feed it but everything else comes with practice and yeah. learning like none of us are taught these things you know there's no when people say like I feel like such a bad mom because I did x y and z where's the rule book yeah you're just human that's it you're a faulty human you make mistakes and that's fine that's yeah fine yeah Yeah. and And enjoy your mistakes learn from the mistakes as well 
Yeah, definitely. And I love what you said about having fun because I feel like we sometimes we get so serious about those things. You know, it's just have fun. Like the purpose, like we are here on this planet to learn, to explore, to dive deeper into ourselves, but also to have fun. It's not yeah. meant to be that serious. If you make a mistake, you know, just tell yourself, oh, plot twist and move on. I That's something I learned to do. It's like, oh, well, you know, if I was writing a book, that would be another chapter. Uh, kind of, you yeah. know, seeing yourself as a character in this book, it's like, oh, there's a bit of a drama here and there. Well, that's all right. I'm going to make a fun story and you're learning from it. At least you're living, right? Yeah, yeah. Main character energy. There can yes. be a sequel. There can be a cliffhanger. It oh, doesn't yeah. have to be. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. And you know, yeah, enjoy it. So, what would your what would you like your parting words to be today? If you imagine you're putting the stamp onto your letter to empower women, what's the last thing that you would like to share? One thing that you would like all the women listening today to take away with them. Hmm. I would say try to look from a place of this heart and soul alignment. So um, try to carve out the time for yourself in the day where you listen to the whispers of your soul and you allow yourself to listen to your intuition and kind of tell the ego to step aside, to let the logical mind to step aside and just allow yourself to dream Um And follow that energy, that energy that comes up when you truly get excited about the things you want to create, the things that come up for you, because that energy is what will help you manifest it into your reality. So connecting to your heart space, grounding, um, and just truly allowing your authentic self to shine unapologetically. (laughs) Yes, I love that. Allow yourself to dream. And allow yourself to shine. You know, if you're anyone listening now, just unless you're driving, don't. But close your eyes and just take a moment. What what comes up? If you could have whatever you wanted when you get home or right now you open your eyes and it's there, what would it be? Dream, live it. Yeah. Maybe not, you know, it might be quite hard to manifest Brad Pitt or someone, I don't know. <laughs> well, you never know. You never, you never know. know. You never know. You never know. Yeah. Yeah. be intentional I would say yeah, yeah. Intentional. yeah how do you want it can be little things as well how do you want your day to unfold I do this yeah. every time I wake up get my coffee and sit down and I'm like right okay like this is what's going to happen today and then I infuse all those things that are going to happen with a positive intention you know oh today I'm recording a podcast with Joanne great I'm going to have so much fun it's going to go great and hopefully it will you know uh help someone out there or inspire someone which is really the mission behind everything that we do right um and uh yeah it's it's a really beautiful practice and even if things don't go exactly the way you've imagined well it doesn't really matter because your energy is already on a higher level so you'll be equipped to deal with it in a more yeah, positive exactly way. yeah keeping that vibration high from the start of the day and i know i said one more thing but i think you know just a, an example you know when you wake up and you you stump your toe and then you spill your coffee mm-hmm. and then you I don't know what bad thing other bad things you drop your phone and then you're late and then you're in traffic and then your petrol's low and these things if you allow them your vibration just throughout the day is going to get lower and lower and lower and starting the day mindfully intentionally like you've just said you know I'm going to have a good day today the meeting I've got is going to go amazing you know put in this high vibe before it's even happened and if it doesn't it's not going to make you, you know, it's not going to affect you. If you hit traffic, but you leave the house in such a high vibe mood, you're more likely going to put your favorite song on and have a little dance and enjoy the extra five minutes exactly. and sit there like, Ugh, I'm in traffic because it's hard to bring down a vibration just at the same time. It's hard to bring it up. So it's trying to think, think about your vibration throughout the day. And I do that a lot. I check in if I feel myself coming down a little bit I'm like right come on and I'll just do a quick gratitude funny actually just as I was saying gratitude I have my hourly gratitude that comes on my reminders so thank oh, you thank you thank you yeah so it reminds me my watch buzzes and it comes up on my phone and I just take quick 30 seconds phone? even 30 seconds just thank you thank you thank you mm-hmm. and I just have a look around and just think you know what can I see around me and sometimes it's just thank you that I've got a fresh glass of water 
and it doesn't have to be anything major and keeping my vibe high every hour on the hour <laughs> I love that oh I, I love that like gratitude is so powerful as well that's another yeah. beautiful tool but like you yeah. said you know, happiness is a choice simply you know um yeah. mm-hmm. perfect thank you right I won't ask any more questions I could keep talking all day <laughs> I know. I, I I love this. I love this. I could. Uh... I know. I know. I could. I, I just yeah. Um, we need a TV show, and we can just keep you know. That would be fun. That's let's amazing. put that in the manifestation <laughs> hat. <laughs> <laughs> On the vision list. I um, love it. Brilliant. It's Thank you so much for joining me. I've loved having you. It's been a pleasure, and I know that more than one woman will be listening to this thinking oh my god she is an angel and like I said I'll put all of your information in the show notes and yeah you can reach out to Marta questions about your happiness her coaching and yeah thank you very much for listening and thank you for joining me and I'll see everybody next week thank you so much thank you it's such a pleasure have a lovely rest of the day bye And that's it today, everybody. I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you again next week. Don't forget, five stars, download, tell your friends, you're amazing.